Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli back with another review video, and for this one, gonna be reviewing another uh, DreamWorks animation feature film, and that of course being, and as you read the title, yes, I'm reviewing Madagascar. Oh yes, Madagascar. What do I have to say about Madagascar? I love it, it is pretty good. Um, everything about it is fantastic, you know, from the story, the characters, the music once done by Hans Zimmer, you know, fantastic. Of course, you know, you got, uh, you got Alex, the lion, uh, Marty, the, the zebra, uh, uh, Gloria, the hippo, uh, Melman, the giraffe, you have the, the monkeys, uh, the chimps, basically, um, Mason and Phil, and you have the penguins, of course, Skipper, Private, uh, uh, Kowalski, and Rico, um, in, they live in, of course, the New York uh, Central Park Zoo, and um, you know when it, you know in the beginning of the film because uh, it's Marty's birthday, and you know in that part you know because people in the zoo, etc., and uh, Alex putting on a show, all the other animals as well, and uh, even cutting to the penguins, they're trying to they're like making their way into the sewer line there because they're leaving. The, the zoo, and, um, yeah, and even, like, uh, the, the penguins convince Marty, of, you know, to follow his dream or something like that, and even that, Mar with Marty's birthday party, even, like, Marty mentions it because of a, of a wish he made of, out after blowing out the candles, and, uh, you know, because of going to the wild, and even mentioning about the penguins doing it, and then Alex saying the penguins are psychotic, I wouldn't say they're psychotic, I mean, they're kind of, they act like secret agents, or, well, whatever. But, um, yeah, and so, you know, Marty, he, la later in that night, he, he, uh, he leaves the zoo, and yet Alex, Gloria, and Melman, they go after him. Even the, the, the chimps escape, too, like, they're making their way, because they, you know, I heard, I heard Tom Wolf was speaking at Lincoln Center. Well, of course we're going to throw poo at him. <laughs> that was funny, so I guess that's what they were doing, so, you know. Um, and, like, even, like, a bit of scene, uh, some scenes where, like, uh, Marty, like, ice skating, and then, like, he's talking with a police horse, and, you know, telling him which direction to go, even the, some, uh, those scenes with Marty, no, not Marty, Alex, Melman, and Gloria in the subway, and they make their, they all make their way to Grand Central Station, uh, you know, they get, they get surrounded by the police and, and firemen, even, like, this drummer guy who's playing the drums outside of the station of the subway, you know, he's right there, kind of pissed off that, you know, you know, they they destroyed his drums. Even that crazy old lady, you know, who beat up Alex, you know, you're a bad kitty. Um, <laughs> even the penguins get caught, the monkeys get caught. What what were they doing anyways? Like, why did they get money and such? And why this? What was it? The disguise? I thought they were going to Lincoln Center or something, you know. And I, that part where he raises his hands and like, you know, if you have any poo, fling it now. It's funny. Um, and Alex trying to talk with the humans, like, oh, this whole situation's under control, but of course, they can't understand him, duh. Um, and of course, he gets tranquilized, and yet, uh, this, because of what he's seeing, you know, because who can take a sunrise? And then, uh, of course, they've been transferred to, uh, you know, it's a zoo transfer, and, um, the penguins, you know, because they can't, you know, Kowalski can't read it, and Pen Skipper says to the monkeys, you, hire a mammal, can you read? And no, Phil can read, though, Phil. And re uh, Kowalski pointed out, hmm, you know, uh, tapping his fin, shipped to Kenya, wildlife preserve Africa. Uh, yeah, and Skipper, Africa, that ain't gonna fly. Rico vomits out, like, something to to open the 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 lock, you know, the penguins, they make their way to the bridge, you know, and they get control of the ship, you know, and, the, and, a, and a bit of an argument between Alex and Marty, you know, uh, like, you bit the hand, Marty, you bit the hand, and, you know, causing one of the crates to, the, the crates to break off of, from the strap, uh, the penguins get control of the ship, steering it, and it causes the, the crates with Alex, Marty, Melman, and Gloria to fall out of the, of the ship and into the ocean, and Alex and the rest of the gang, they're, they're separated. Alex just by himself. And he makes his way to an island. And uh, that's when, you know, because shouting their names, you know, and the next day just, you know, tired. And Marty, Melman, Gloria, 
Marty Mellon, Glory Glory, uh, uh, Regis Kelly, just even the mentionings of obviously, I guess, Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa, basically, duh, when you say Regis and Kelly. Um, of course, he meets up with, you know, all the other, all the, the other three, they've made their way into the island, Alex still pissed off at Marty, and, uh, you know, Melman thinking that they're, uh, they're on, they're at San Diego, you know, white sandy beaches, blah, 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 and, um, they, you know, they hear something off in the distance and in, in there, and they go to it, and they think it's people, but no, it's, uh, it's, you know, as Gloria, you know, it, you know, it's animals, and it's lemurs, and we cut to King Julian, Sasha Baron Cohen, the voice of King Julian, I'd like to move it, move it, you know, hearing move it, move it, and such, uh, the Fusa come in, they attack. Alex, some, you know, basically scares them after because a spider was on his shoulder, behind his shoulder, etc. And, um, yeah, scares off the Fusa. And <laughs> that part where Gloria trying to kill the spider, beating him up, etc. Uh, Mord confronting them, etc. And yet, you know, it turned out okay. And the, the lemurs greet them. Uh, and there's, they see, because the mentioning of humans, and this, what's, re the remains of humans, the skeletons, and the plane crash, and plane crash, you know, um, and also, another thing is, we cut back to the penguins, they're making their way to Antarctica, you know, it's gonna be ice cold sushi for breakfast, as Skipper says, um, cut back to the animal gang, and, like, they're on the, they're on the beach, and, you know, because, Marty enjoying it and such, and, and Alex not. He builds a giant uh, replica, like, a bit, you know, like, uh, you know, tiki version of the Statue of Liberty, and a bit of a nod to Planet of the Apes. You maniacs! You know, darn you all to heck! And Melman just saying, can we go to the fun side now? Basically, yeah, because Alex is too out of hand and just, you know. But, uh, yeah, and so, you know, Marty built this amazing, like, I guess, uh, paradise or whatever, and, uh, Alex seems to be liking it, and a little bit of wildness comes into him as, you know, who wakes up, and, like, he was licking Marty, you know, and yet he just goes to, you know, 27, blah, 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 you know, counting the stripes and such, because a little bit in the film, like, Marty going back and forth, if he's white with black stripes or black with white stripes, uh, I think clearly he's white with black... Zebras, I think, are white with black stripes. I Pretty much. I mean, come on. Can't you tell? But, you know. Anyways, and the lemurs, they kind of watch them and wait until they're in a deep sleep so they can move them and, yet show them paradise and such. And I love that part where, you know, King Julian, how long is this going to take? And they wake up the gut. They wake them up, basically. They were almost awake. They were almost asleep, but, you know... And I love it when we cut back to the penguins that are in Andar they're in Antarctica, and they're just sitting there, just standing there, and but you know because the wind blowing, etc. And Kowalski, no, no, Private out of nowhere says, you know, well this sucks. I remember because I saw this, I did see this in theaters when I was well, pretty much when I was four years old because this came out in two thousand five. I remember because my family told me like because like everybody in the theater just cracking up over that and such, you know. Um, and so, uh, of course, the next day, of course, you know, the lemurs surprise them, paradise and such. And later on, because a bit of wildness comes into Alex, and a little bit throughout the film, like Maurice, you know, uh, the you know, uh, King Julian's right, you know, butler, not butler, but sidekick or whatever, you know, his assistant basically had a few doubts and uh, suspicions on Alex, you know. And with Alex, the wildness comes into him, you know, and almost about to eat Mar Marty and such. And, you know, because Alex even realizes that he can't help himself and like, oh, no, it's true. I'm a monster. I got to get out of here, you know. And that song playing, you know, what a wonderful, I see trees bring that song. Um, so, yeah, and, uh, of course, the penguins come in and like the, you know, Skipper, now this is more like it. Like, you know, they enjoy this a lot better. And so they, uh, you know, the skip, the penguins help them. They, like, try to get to Alex, etc. Marty goes after Alex, and yet, you know, the F Alex is in where the Fusa territory, the territory of the Fusa is. Marty confronting Alex, and he never gave up on Alex. And even singing that song, you know, in the, in the beginning, earlier in the film, in, in the zoo, you know, singing New York, New York, you know. And that's when the Fusa come in, attack Marty, and... 
Melman and Gloria and the Penguins, they come in as well, they help and such, and that's when Alex comes in and, like, that's my kill, mine, and, tri and fools and tricks the Fusa, you know, and, like, Alex, you know, whispering to Marty, psst, it's showtime, thanks for not letting me down, you know, giving up on me, how whatever he said. And, you know, they play along such, you know, this is my territory, understand? I never want to see you in my territory again. He roars at them, and only one Fusa's right there, and, you know, boo. <laughs> oh, you know, that's funny. King Julie and Maurice, they were right there, you know, applauding and, you know, cheering for them. And at one, and then Alex, you know, says, so, what's for lunch or dinner or something like that? And Melman, Glory, and Marty, they just look at him. You know, just, they all have each other's faces up each other, you know, hugging or whatever. And, you know, at the beach as such, you know, Skipper, close those eyes. And, you know, uh, Rico is fixing sushi and, like, you know, tell, Skipper tells Alex to open his mouth. You know, open. Ah, uh, fire in the hole. You know, chew, chew, and, you know. And I love it when, you know, King Julian says, there's always plan B, and basically eating Mort. <laughs> uh, King Julian. And yet Alex does says, you know, this is better than steak. I love it. I really love it. You know, the kitty loves it, as Skipper says. And there's a little speech, I guess, with Alex and King Julian. And um, that's when they get on the boat and they think they're going to leave and such. And we even see Mason and Phil, the two champs, that... They've been okay this whole time, even and even though they the boat was making its way to Antarctica. My God, you know, just, you know. Well, it's the movie, so what can you expect? And we cut one last scene, and with the penguins, you know, Private, they're, they're like sun tanning, etc. And, and Private, Private says to Skipper, you know, Skipper, don't you think we should tell them the boat's out of gas? Nah, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. And that's the same diet, that's the same, those are the same lines that Skipper said when the penguins first appeared and when, you know, they appeared at the end, basically. <laughs> that's funny. And of course, boom, the credits roll, and I like to move it, move it plays, and the characters dancing. Yeah, and I, that's the bit of memory, that's the, that's the bit I can remember when I saw Madagascar in theaters, the credits, basically. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, Madagascar, it's, it's a really good uh, DreamWorks animated feature, definitely. Um, and as for its sequels, well, I really... M Madagascar 2 would have to be my favorite. And until I get to reviewing that, just, you know... I'll, of course, I'll be reviewing it later, so, you know. <sighs> but anyways, and you guys let me know what you think of Madagascar. Because, you know, I, of course, I love it and it's really good. And I do remember this, like, hey... Um, like, Jeff... I remember, like, hearing this. Like, Jeffrey Katzenberg admitted that he... That he was upset about the movie's third act. What was wrong with the third act? I thought it was good. And then another thing is, I remember reading this because of, of its trivia and everything else on IMDb, that originally, like, Gloria was actually going to be pregnant. <laughs> and Melman would be, like, would help take care of the child and be the father. That kind of seemed a bit weird, don't you think? Even for the test audience, you know, the kids. And I think that would have been too much for the film, so, you know. Um, I remember, and even this, like... Is this, I I guess, like, some people, like, had, you know, this film and compared with Disney's The Wild, but I read that this had not, like, with The Wild and Madagascar, it had nothing to do with each other, so, you know. And I know I did, and I did my review on The Wild, and I thought it was good and such. I think both of these films are good. They share a little bit in common, you know. Animals in, in the Central Park Zoo of New York, they get out, and they travel and such, and they go to an island, etc., but their stories and et cetera, they are way different. So, you know, the plots, everything else, so, you know. But anyway, so, and for Madagascar, well, uh, I give it 10 off 10 stars because I think it's really good. And again, you guys let me know what you think of Madagascar. Yeah. So with that said, again, 10 off 10 stars for Madagascar. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Madagascar. More new review videos coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care and peace out.